Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show, I react to comedy music from a comedy musician's perspective. Have I said comedy music enough yet? Basically what we do, we either analyze the jokes, talk about the production of the music video, or we just sit and we laugh and react. It's a crapshoot what you're going to get, but I think it's a pretty good time. This week we have two songs from the Stupendium. First is Can't Teach This, their Two Point Campus song, and then an older song by them, British Summer Jam, considering how, how hot it is lately. But if this is your first time joining us, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things that feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs on these videos. If you enjoy the stuff that you're seeing, at least. If you don't enjoy it, you don't have to do that. That's fine. But I would appreciate the subscription and the like, at least. Leave a comment for a video you'd like me to react to if you enjoy these reactions. And if you really want to help out the channel and me, consider supporting me on Patreon, where you can get to see these videos early, get to see my music early, music and music videos, vote in polls to see what song I'll be reacting to next, and all sorts of other good things like that. Anyway, with all of that out of the way, let's dive in to the brand new one from the Stupendium. I see the title Can't Teach This, and my brain instantly goes to Can't Watch This, which is Weird Al's parody of MC Hammer's Can't Touch This. Actually, now that I think about it, I just parodied it too. Brief, tiny, like, 30-second snippet, if that long, called Can't Catch Me, or Can't Touch Me, about uh, Peter Pepper and Burger Time. I did it in a video game medley, which I did recently. So, yeah, all my brain is automatically going there with Can't Teach This. I don't think that's what it's going to be. I don't know Stipendium to do parodies much at all, if at all. If at all. So, uh, we're going to dive into this one. Uh, I've had a lot of people pointing out to me that I should react to this one. Some people were very specific as to why. Some of you will have seen this on the day that it was supposed to be posted because of my Patreon. Other than that, it's now on for everyone else to see. Vagueness. It's fine. This video is not sponsored by Two Point Campus, but they did put me in the game, so fair's fair. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. And wearing orange. Because we know that's their favorite color. They use that a lot. Their logo is orange. Uh, they, uh, Stupendium did a song about Two Point Hospital, if I recall. So going to Two Point Campus is just the lateral move. Uh, look, It looks very much like them. Got the sideburns and the stash and just the general... Just the general image of the, uh, the, the wardrobe... Good on you, Stoops, for getting in the game. More info about that at the end of the song. Now get to class. A notice to all musicality students. I, I have to deposit to see these things. Your cheese ball practice cancelled due to inclement cheddar. Pawns. Experimental course needs test subjects to test subjects. Who ate my gubbins? Solve Mambo for Y equals 10, Q equals 2, X equals Y over Q. That would be Mambo number 5. Open mic night Thursday to Autopsy Lab. Or maybe Thursday in the Autopsy Lab. I, that's... A autopsy Lab is not a measurement of time, but it could be. Uh, Tic-tac-toe, orb rules, mathematic... Gastronomy, Mathematic Gastronomy Club, Baking Pie, P.I. Bring your old decimal placemats. Jokes. Uh, no, all of that is great. The Solve Mambo for X uh, being a, a reference to Mambo number five. Uh, and that's simple maths, too. I'm, I'm not good at, at math at all, uh, but that was fairly easy to, to parse. Uh, Mambo Number no. 5, of course, being sung by Lou Bega, popular in the late 90s, early 2000s. It's a reference to a thing. Alright. 
now that we've looked at all that crap on the screen, let's go. Professor Stipendium's lecture on awkward white middle class hip hop and its use as a promotional tool will be starting in the lecture hall shortly. Awkward white middle aged hip hop. As a 43 year old white guy who does that. That's accurate. Alright. Thank you. Welcome, students, to Two Point U. This campus we must dabble is Two Point U. Down the path of <laughs> academia and Two Points New. And there's a chance that you will leave here as employed, too. There are people who've gone to universities who've not gotten the employment for the course that they've taken and are very bitter about that. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, the flip there, the 2.2, 2, 2 U, meaning 2 point university, and then 2 point U to direct you, to point you in that direction. That's great. It's a great flip. Starting off strong with a flip uh, that we know Stupendium does well, and then the viewpoints too, and great rhyme. We're certain that the circumstance could use a little pomp with learning you. Pomp and circumstance. That's what they call the present. I think that's what they call like the whole graduation thing. So the, the circumstances could use a little pomp. Pomp and circumstance. That's very good. I'm going to be pausing a lot, by the way. If you weren't aware of that before jumping into these videos, I pause a lot, because I don't want to talk over the lyrics and miss jokes and, you know, miss lyrics. Reasons. Campus we must devil is two point you down the path of academia and few points new, and there's a chance that you will leave here as employed too. We're certain that the circumstance could use a little pop with learning you could turn your hand to the skill you want. The young mind needs a moment, and we do it with a plum. Now no one ever specifies just what's a moment from. I love the music in this. It's just very peppy and grandiose and 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 rhyming pomp with a plum that just mad verbal skills here that's that's good stuff every course of course has been meticulously planned the standard math and science is particularly planned so big from our curriculum of kitchen scripts and bands you won't find a diploma if you're digging in the sand the chef running by in the back yeah generally you have to take the classes to get the diploma and yes because it's two-point campus, the classes are going to be weird. That's the thing with the two-point hospital is all the uh, ailments for the, the patients is all weird stuff. So why wouldn't the classes be bizarre things? Not just English and math and science and all that. That's, that's basic. Let's go with the weird stuff. Well, Beth, they will. Archaeology, right? Yes, we do teach archaeology. <laughs> in that case, you might want to start digging for that diploma now. I wonder if you can actually find one in the archaeology part of the game and just, you know, win that way. Neat. Before it starts to compost. <laughs> I love the Shakespearean actor, almost goth stupendium in the background with the skull as if he's doing uh, the bit from Hamlet, Horatio. To be or not to be, all that, you know. Ah, I, I know Shakespeare, I'm an actor. I've done Twelfth Night twice as the same role, two different productions. Feste, the jester, obviously. Why do you ask? Teacher's pet, meaning somebody who is uh, kind of... The, the, the less nice way of calling it is a kiss-ass. Somebody who plays up to the teacher, always uh, plays nice with the teacher, trying to always answer the questions and get on the teacher's good side, and the teacher responding by always calling on them and, and kind of seeming like they're playing favorites, they call that the teacher's pet. Uh, but also making that a simile for like any other pet that you would have, like a cat or a dog, so, you know, having them get de-chipped, and, and dewormed, or having them get chipped and wormed, meaning, you know, puts a, a GPS chip in it in case you lose your pet, you can find them, and dewormed is an ailment that usually happens with pets. They get worms. Usually dogs. I'm explaining things, because it's fun. We're best in class for espionage, the course is sure to thrill you, but if I told you where it is, we're going to have to kill you. I saw that one coming, honestly. That doesn't mean it's bad. 
Sometimes a lot of people will talk about jokes being obvious, but if it's a good joke, it being obvious is not a bad thing. If you know where the line is going to go, that's fun, at least for me. It's more fun if you don't know where it's going to go. If, it, if you think it's going to go one way and it goes a different way, that's almost more fun for me. But knowing where it's going to go is still fun. Espionage. If I told you, we'd have to kill you. Standard spy joke. Good stuff, nonetheless. We're best in class for espionage. The course is sure to thrill you. But if I told you where it is, of course I'd have to kill you. Embark upon the dark and after four minutes that fills you, our dungeon rather under us with all authentic in you. <laughs> The, the meter with which they're rapping is just, it's so precise, and, and the internal rhymes that happen at the beginning of the line, the beginning of the bar before it goes into the, the, the rhyme that, that ends the bar where it rhymes with the previous line, you've got internal rhymes that are rhyming with themselves before that, it just absolute masterclass in doing that. Stupendium, Dan Bull... They all do, like, internal rhymes and carrying those rhyme schemes through in places where you don't expect in the lines. They all do that expertly well. Fantastic stuff. Inconvenient for delivery. Yeah, that's a big-ass pizza. I live in Chicago, so that's a normal-sized pizza. Ooh! I like that dig. Our wizard school is big on inclusivity. Now, Hogwarts was seemingly inclusive. Its writer sure as shit isn't. By the way, all the proceeds from all of my songs that I do about Harry Potter go to the Trevor Project. Just thought I might throw that in there. I have a whole EP called Weezard, which is Wizard Rock plus Weezer. It's Weezard. And I had a song on my new album called Hufflepuffs. All the proceeds from uh, the, the Wizard Rock album and, and that song go to the Trevor Project. Ah, young Mr. Toastmaster, come in. I'm afraid I've called you to my office to talk about how you've been conducting yourself in the music lab. Is this Dr. Stu Pendium, the same Stuart Pendium from uh, the Poppy Playtime song recently? I thought he was turned into a doll. I'm sorry, I'm just going in through the lore of all these songs as if they're interconnected. You see, you're supposed to I'm sorry. I just caught that as I was unpausing it. It was written on the screen. Conducting yourself in the music lab. Because, you know, conducting yourself meaning how you're behaving, but also conducting as if you were a music conductor in the music lab. Puns! You know I love them. I called you to my office to talk about how you've been conducting yourself in the music lab. You see, you're supposed to use a baton. Here at Two Point Campus, where our minds put to the test. Our schools in cars tell towns about us, our violent student tests. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Good evening, Mr. Danger. On the deep undercover spy course, please be aware that your mother is at the office with your back lunch. <laughs> What's more embarrassing for a spy to have their mother show up with their bag lunch? That's... That's quality. That's so good. This time I will now self-destruct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pleasant. Pleasure. Blending. Attending. Samson. Absent. Hardy. Toddy. Tate. Light. Glover. Undercover. Drake. Bite. Connor. Slightly fossilized. Sorry, I apologize. Used to know. Open off and rather than robotified. This is just an excuse to have them rhyme with names. And I'm here for it. That's good. That's good stuff. We got a giddy and us pondering oblivion. Huh. Gideon. Gideon is is the. I'm sorry, clowns are scary. And Gideon is the goth actor. Hell's yes. Huh. <laughs> 
Uh, there was one in the middle there that I... I mean, all of these are great rhymes, but, uh, and saying what's happened to the moon. Coombs is entombed. That's a problem. Maybe you should remove them from the call list. But, uh... Emily napping. Wingler tinkling. Tinkering. Gregory rapping. If you know, you know. Good. Also, that one's not a rhyme, and it's also not their last name, but eh, whatever, it's fine. Llewellyn Mayhew, Matt O'Grady, Baudelaire, Fipping, Tim Matt out with a spoon. He fed them a huge batch of gravy, but they are fishing him back out with a spoon. With a spoon, with a spoon. Bravo for taking the scenic route there. The fourth. And fork. Uh, I'm just going to put absent. I just noticed how long Stoops' hair is in that shot. A very long ponytail. Bravo. Our degrees are quite obtuse. Okay, obtuse usually would mean like... What's the best way to put it? You know what? I'm gonna go with an actual definition of obtuse here because I... I'm a little obtuse on uh, what the word means. Uh, annoyingly insensitive or slow to understand. So, that's what they're meaning about their paper degrees are obtuse. But also, degrees, as in the degree of an angle, if an angle is more than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees, that is an obtuse angle. You have two types, well, there, there are many types of angles. You have a, an acute and an obtuse angle. I remember these from math class, geometry class specifically. So an obtuse angle is within those degrees. Their degrees are obtuse. Double meanings. I wanted to make sure I got the wording right on that. Google machine in your pocket. I'm old. Students are reminded that we are contractually obligated to encourage you to follow your dreams. That does not excuse falling asleep in lectures. <laughs> Now you can be the canvas, and next will be hung out to dry as we will see the hand Colleges are expensive. We tried to hire Pavlov's dog, but built a hippo Oh my god. We tried to hire Pavlov's dog, but built a hippo campus. Alright, first off, you have the, the face level of that. We tried to hire a dog, but built a campus for hippopotamuses. That's your baseline. But the deeper meaning of that is Pavlov's dog. There was a, a scientist named Pavlov who basically trained his dog that every time he rang a bell, he would feed the dog. It's to the point that eventually when he rang the bell, the dog would start salivating because the dog knew the bell ringing meant food time. So heard the bell would start drooling, and then that means oh I'm gonna I know I'm gonna get food because I heard the bell. That was something a reaction that happens in the hippocampus, which is a part of the brain. The things that are repeated affect that part of the brain. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so yeah, this, this is just one of Stupendium's biggest strengths is these double entendre word plays that have so much more of a deeper meaning than what's on the surface level of them, just being surface level jokes, but they're also very brainy jokes that, you know, require thought. Uh, I feel like I did a disservice when I reacted to fragments, because 
I kind of took that one more at the surface level of being about Ratchet and Clank when it's it's a deeper song than that, and I apologize if I kind of brushed past that. Most of their songs have hidden meanings, double meanings, not just in the lyrical content, but sometimes in the kind of purpose of the song. Uh, and, uh, yeah, all of their songs definitely have this uh, extra layer to them. And mostly in the lyrics uh, is where you, you find the... the the, the nice little nuggets of those double meetings. I, I enjoy it, is what I'm saying. Took a long-winded way to say it, too, didn't I? I'm sorry. I've been out of this for a while. Last week was my first week back after a bit. Here we go. Scientific instruments, so come and get involved. The one who never gets them, chemistry club dissolved. The candy <laughs> package... Chemistry club dissolved, meaning it disbanded, but also because it's chemistry, it, it dissolved it. Puns. Scientific instruments. Uh, the shot before that was, let's see if I can, yeah, scientific instruments being an actual instrument, like a piano, an organ, or whatever. Scientific instruments. Musical instruments. So come and get involved. The one who never gets them, chemistry club to solve. The candy's packed with temple tax, a few of the fish and a little dairy, dairy, do, and you can win the go. Cool. I don't know if that's, like, the... Great British Bake Off winning the gold in a, a cooking class or not, but uh, competition. Synergy! Two point campus, two point hospital. There it is. The Doctorate of, Me Doctor of Medicine, David D. Davidson. I reacted to that one a while ago. That's a video you can watch. I'm sure there's a playlist at the end of this. Things. Synergy. Good afternoon, class. I'm glad to see you're all here to hand in your invisibility assignments. There's going to be a punchline to this already, but that setup already is... I can see you're here to hand in your invisibility assignments. I can see you, invisibility. Good shit. <laughs> or I'm in the wrong room. Yeah, this is camouflage class. My ear up. To <laughs> <laughs> so they were invisible, but not. Uh, Ain't that the truth? And also that army of stupendiums all singing? Quality stuff. Thank you. Wow. Bravo. Another excellent song by Stupendium. Great tie into the game. Good stuff. Thank you for listening, class. Two Point Campus, the sequel to 2018's Two Point Hospital, will be available on August 9th for PC, Xbox, Switch, and PlayStation. I'll probably get it on Game Pass. Build your university, pick your courses, guide your students, and if you're lucky, a special guest might just show up on campus. Performing in the game. And doing songs. He's on... They're, they're on a stage. I'll be seeing them on stage at NPC, beginning of August. I'm excited for that. Uh, that's awesome. That's awesome that they're actually in the game as themselves, not just a character that looks like them. Wow. Yes, the developers over at Two Point Studios have put me and four other content creators in the game. So when you're building your performing arts campus in the town of Upper Etching, you might see me strolling the halls of your illustrious educational establishment. Wow. Plus, there's a unique stupendous microphone statue and cosmic fizz wallpaper to unlock. Just please be nice to me. <laughs> yeah, don't shake them around. <clears throat> Moving along, wow. I'd like to thank all of the students on the Stupendium Patreon Honors Roll for their hard work this semester. If you enjoyed the song and would like to hear more on our range of other exciting subjects, then do please study the recommended listening playlist carefully. There may be a test. 
Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, but remember the bell is for me, not for you. Sit down. But please do ring the bell to be notified when my next song starts. And if you really enjoyed your time here, why not support the faculty over at the Stupendium Patreon or Merch Store? Very subtle. Now, class dismissed. I want your reaction assignments on my desk by Monday. That means you, Ian. That... That means me. My reaction assignment. Monday. I saw my name in the Patreon thing. Um, so I am clearly one of his students, one of, one of their students. Uh, if you're seeing this on Patreon, that means I did it in time. Patreon is how I turn the assignment into Stupendium. Lore. Um, but Friday is when I'll get it back and share it with the rest of the class. Anyway, moving on. Uh, British Summer Jam which is an older song uh, by Stupendium. Uh, I, I'm reacting to this because I know a lot of uh, our British friends have been uh, uh, talking about how damn hot it is. And even here in the States, it's very warm. It's been in the 90s, which is uh, Celsius, not the other one. When you say it's hot and you say it's in the 30s, I get confused, but then I remember that we do it uh, a different way than you but yeah it's uh it's it's hot here as well global warming is a thing uh i had originally wanted to react to this song this week anyway because of that but then stupendium put out a new song and then gave me homework it's fine uh and i actually was going to pair this with my song about the summer not everybody likes it when i react to my own songs like I did on April Fool's Day, but uh, you'll at least hear it in the outro today. So, regardless, uh, British Summer Jam. Let's get into this. Written and performed by Greg Holgate. Beat sampled Too Hot by Cool and the Gang. Additional instrumentation by Alex X. Eskies. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Never heard this one. It's an older one. Let's dive in. Great Britain! Summertime 2K17. That tells you how old it is. 2017. It is now 2022. So that's. Math. The forecast predicting it's going to be slightly warmer than usual for a brief period of time. And you know what that means. Total chaos and breakdown of public services, yeah. <laughs> It's very, very cloudy in the UK sometimes. Starting to get an, an example of Stupendium's usual lyric flow of the internal rhymes carrying through. It's good stuff. It's more laid back than I expected. Uh, also, can absolutely relate to that type of weather here in Chicago. Uh, we get maybe three months of sun and uh, three months, of, almost three months of summer. Uh, those months are not consecutive. Move your feet, cause there are a million to beat. There's a fleet trying to claim the three inches of beach. Yeah, the dream is in reach. Feel your feet on the pebbles. You found sand, oh, you lucky devil. <laughs> More pebbles on the beach than sand, all right. Next come on the rebel. We got 36 hours at most before the drizzle. 36 hours at most before the drizzle. So, a day and a half until it starts raining again. Awesome. Summertime. It's British summertime. We run certain as to whether we like sweltering through this weather. That's me. All the fans pointed on me. My fan is going right now in here. I always run hot anyway. I have a thyroid problem. Not that you need to know that shit, but yeah, uh, always run hot. My wife calls me her little furnace. Uh, yeah, always hot, always warm. This weather destroys me. Constantly sweating. It's awful. That's why I'm sitting here in this right now. It's not a pretty outfit, but it's 
what I'm wearing right now because oh, I'm probably sweating right now, actually. Hair is askew. I'm complaining because I can, and there's a camera pointed at me, so that's what's hearing it. Sorry. Oh, see? 26 degrees, they say that's hot. My brain goes, that's freezing. Why would... Uh, I don't understand. 26 degrees would be a blessing for me. My wife would hate it. She hates the cold. I hate the hot. And yet we make it work. Uh, no. But then I remember different measurement things. I don't know what all that was. Oh, the eyes. All these internal rhymes. So quality. Bravo. Even however many years ago it was. Seven? No, not seven. Uh, five years ago? I, I can't. I don't know. Years. Oh, is the memory card filling up? Hold, on th hold that thought. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I was using my camera to film an audition, and I forgot to clear the things off of it. Like I did last week. I had other things on there, cleared them off last week. And then, same problem again this week, because I did more recording. Whoops! Anyway, back to this. Now and then the ride. We are loose our minds. Fighting over who can climb in with the pies in Iceland. Chris <laughs> can't survive in anything. Iceland, I'm assuming, meaning the freezer. Because where else would you keep the pies? And, of course, the temperatures are rising now. It's even hotter this year. Song is timely. That's why I'm reacting to it. Yay. Ain't brighter than slightly vibrant. We spend years all sad and dreary. One week's heat, we all get violent. Oh, God, the school's out. <laughs> Maybe can you stand the fool out? Yeah. They say it's hotter than Barcelona. Yeah, in winter. So get ready to roll out. Yeah. Could get your parasol out. I like this little breakdown section. And get on your way down the motorway. It's bags up for day sun's rays turn cars into microwaves. But that's sun's rays turn cars into microwaves. Absolutely. I think I say something similar in my song. Neat. The price you pay, upgrade into leather upholstery. Oh, leather upholstery in the heat is not good. My first car was a Chrysler New Yorker Fifth Avenue edition. It was like basically a land yacht. Uh, leather seats. Uh, your legs stick to that. That's not fun or good. No. Green in for gravy. Bruce and Romy's supposed to roast on Sundays. <laughs> Switch to sunscreen for gravy. Roast on Sundays, meaning they're cooking a roast, not themselves roasting. There's that double entendre stuff again. Policy society collapse in one day. You know the sun's not where we're supposed to be. Entendre not always being innuendo, by the way. Double meaning is what I was meaning. Two meanings. <laughs> Just in the fountain. It's not just in Britain. We do it here, too. It's a universal truth. Something we share. I'm sure you'll hear about that on Lost in the Pond. <laughs> Liverpool leaves the pool. Mmm, good one. But please leave to pee. Let's be reasonable. Wow. Good little section, really dig that. <laughs> I I very rarely take my shirt off in the heat. No woman needs to see that. Um, yeah, no. I'm already the the color of a sheet of paper. You hold up a, a loose leaf and I disappear until the sun hits me and then I turn into a lobster boy. There is no middle ground for me, by the way. I don't tan. It's either pasty white boy or lobster man. 
Economic climate's already suffering. Inflation's on the rise. Grab your rubber ring. Head down the ladder. Take your mind off what's troubling you. When you hate the heat and all the government. I'm infrastructure. The roads are no go. <laughs> the rails are fucked up. A gallon. Stupendium swore in one, of, in one of their own songs. Not just in a song they guest starred on. Color me shocked. Which is more of a, a an orange. Oh, appropriate. Just don't plan for summer if one day sun goes fun to trauma. You know, it's a national tragedy when it's too hot to drink cups of tea. <laughs> Other countries, they just laugh with glee because I'm melting points about 10 degrees. Yes, 10 degrees is their melting point. And for us, that's almost a freezing point. Uh, also, uh, too hot to drink tea? The South would recommend iced tea. That's a thing. It's also very sweet. Probably more sweet than most uh, people across the pond are used to. We like things sweet here. We like our sugar here. That's why I'm fat. Uh, things. Oh, God. All the space is running out. I have... I have to get through this. I'm lo losing battery power and everything. Okay. I've made space. I got a little bit of juice left in the camera. We have a minute and a half left in the song. I'm an idiot. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm leaving all of this in because it's funny to me. Uh, also, small thing. Number one, that expression on Stupendium's face in this pause shot is incredible. And uh, I just noticed the Guitar Hero guitar in the corner. And that's, that's a special thing for me. My first big hit song was Guitar Hero. So... Uh, fun story about that. Maybe I'll tell it now. Yeah, why not? I'll tell it now. I wrote Guitar Hero as a parody of uh, Jukebox Hero by Foreigner, uh, which was in the game, I think. Uh, and, uh, and then I had made a CD of it, and I gave it to the Activision rep at the GameStop Managers Conference. I was a manager at GameStop at the time. And then the following year, uh, they released DJ Hero. And in DJ Hero was a mix of Foreigner's Jukebox Hero, where Steve, uh, the lead singer, I almost said Steve Perry, and that's not right, uh, the lead singer of Foreigner sings Jukebox, uh, sings DJ Hero instead of Jukebox Hero. Kind of like my parody said Guitar Hero, and I talked to the, the same rep the following year, and they were like, yeah, we loved your song. Wasn't really anything we could do with it, but, you know, passed it along to the dev team at, at DJ Hero, and that's how that thing came about. Cool. Anyway, let's get back to this. Ooh, that's a good line. Number one, the greatest complainers, sure. We'll buy that. We complain a lot here too, actually, but, you know, we're not going to fight you on that one. You'll complain about it. Stiff upper lip is usually the British colloquialism about, you know, be strong about it. Stiff upper lip. But the stiff upper lip breaks without a parasol, meaning no cloud coverage, no, no shade on it from an umbrella or a parasol. Digging it. Just face it, complaining traditional Brits ain't happy unless we're miserable. Everybody oh. tries for a ten day two. B and Q sells out of fan day three. They're enacting a hose pipe band day four. There's a shortage of ice cream van. I don't know what a hose pipe band is, but uh, shortage of ice cream vans is a problem. I'm lactose intolerant, and yet, still, ice cream must be had. Nice raining now. No, it's over. It's over. I, I bet they didn't have to wait long to get that shot, <laughs> considering everything they're saying in the song. But, uh, bravo. Hair's long in this one, too. Good look. Uh, there, was, there, was, there was another swear in there from Stoops. Again, surprise. It's good. Summertime. It's pretty summertime. If you're wondering where that time has gone, this song's about as long as British summertime. <laughs> it's British summertime. Society ends as we know. Like the sun exploded summertime. Stoops as a sun. There's only one way to beat that heat. It's running through those fields of weed in summertime. Bravo. Little fade out at the end. Good stuff. <laughs> Dancing in front of the passed out gran. 
That's that's so good. Yo, what up? Thanks for watching. Click the link to hear more from the channel. And if you like what you hear, you know what to do. It's an interesting voice. Yes, we subscribe to more stupid songs on a semi-regular basis. Yeah. <laughs> Peace. Bravo. Excellent stuff. Uh, two great videos. A new one and an older classic song from Stupendium. Both excellent work. Love the groove on that one. Obviously provided by Cool and the Gang, but uh, Alex Eskes, uh, or Eskes, uh, adding guitar to that. Excellent stuff. Uh, really, really good. Really enjoyed that. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things that feed the algorithm. And if you really want to support the channel, consider supporting me on Patreon, where you get to see these videos early, get to hear my music and see my videos early, get to vote on polls on what things I react to next, get your name in the credits, all sorts of things, depending on what tier you choose. And I'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Summertime and the living's easy, but the air is not so breezy. Need to tell you, but I'm not the one who ever thought that summertime could be fun. Cause the air's so hot and thick, and to me, all my clothes just stick. All the kids are out of school, little ones just peed in the wave pool. Inside my car is like an oven, can't